All right. In the last video, we talked a lot about debugging and some of the tools available to help with that. Uh, today is kind of cool because as I'm making these videos, uh, Node version 6 just released. Um, so if you watch in the first couple of videos, it was at, I can't remember, like 5.2 or something like that. And now version 6 is the new current one. And so this kind of brings up something interesting. You know, when we had talked about it before, we are talking about the long-term support versus the current uh, and which one you should download, and now current has actually bumped. Um, so one way or another, you're going to need to be able to change around your Node versions. Um, and if you just download the package from here, you're only going to get whatever version that you download. So I wanted to talk about some tools that are available for managing your version of Node. Uh, so the first one... Pretty much my main recommendation is NVM, the Node Version Manager. Uh, and you can find it over at GitHub, at github.com slash creationix slash NVM. And for those that are coming from maybe the Ruby world, um, <clears throat> this is very similar to RVM, which is the Ruby Version Manager. So this works on uh, OSX and other Unix systems. Uh, and there's also uh, an NVM Windows, <clears throat> which is the same API, like the same... Um, commands, uh, but it'll work on Windows. So if you're on Windows, uh, it comes with an installer. You can click here, and this is at Cory Butler. So github.com slash Cory Butler slash nvm dash windows. Uh, or if you go to the main nvm site, you can click on nvm windows here. So yeah, so if you're on Windows, go ahead and download this and run it. Uh, if you're on Unix or Mac, go ahead and run this line or this line. They do the same thing. And so you'll just take that and you'll just copy paste it into your terminal. Uh, so this curl, it'll download this install script and then it'll run bash on it. And once you have this done or if you have the installer done, you should be able to type nvm and hit enter. And it should give you a bunch of different uh, options, some commands, which is really cool. Uh, we're just going to cover the really basics today. Uh, so you can do um, nvm current and that'll show you what version that you're currently on. You can do nvm ls, just like in Unix uh, list, and that'll show you your local versions that you have installed. So I only have 5.0 installed on here. You can also do nvm ls remote, and that'll show you all the different versions that nvm currently has support for. So as this kind of scrolls down, it's going to take a little while, we can see that they've already added support for version 6. Uh, so uh, again, type nvm, see all these commands, so you can do nvm install and then we'll want to install version 6.0.0 right so we will do nvm install 6.0.0 it's going to go out fetch it this is really nice because you don't have to you really don't have to do any of the hard work it just knows how to go out <clears throat> get the binaries install them on your system and does it all for you and it's nice because you can easily switch back and forth between versions uh, you know once you have it all set up which we do now so now if I hit nvm ls I'll see that I have version 6 and 5 and this old version 0 0.12 so if I do node dash dash version now it'll be version 6.0 as opposed to version 5.0 the last thing that I want to do is nvm alias default and I'll set that to version 6.00. So from now on, version 6 is going to be my absolute default, or as you can see here, version 5 is. So now if I do nvmls again, you'll see the default is version 6. If I run node dash dash version, version 6. And also if I do npm dash dash version, I have 3.86, a newer version of npm. So great. So from now on, um, always use nvm to install the latest, uh, greatest version of node. and <clears throat> also feel free to use it as you're debugging if somebody reports a bug in you know version 3 or something like that uh, just grab the version number do nvm install the version and switch to it and you'll be good to go <clears throat> yep I think that's everything I hope that helps